Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of City Zilla Plays here in the beautiful city of Zillawood. I hope you are enjoying my content, and if you are, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You can kind of see a little glimpse of what we're going to be working on. It's really exciting. I am excited to show you guys this, and thank you so much for to High Tech Redneck for giving me the comment and the suggestion for this because it came together so well. We are going to go ahead and dive in and we are going to start off by kind of deleting some stuff. So I'm going to get rid of this inner city bus station. It's just a little big and this space is going to work really well for what I was thinking. And so we could go back in and probably just choose a smaller um, inner city bus station. One that's going to allow us to have some room on either side. And so I think it's actually in the bus tab. Yeah. And so bus depot, bus depot. All right, so inner city bus station. Yeah, this one's perfect. So, you know, it's just smaller. And so I want to make sure and try to get it in the middle. You can kind of see with the noise pollution lines. Um, that's what I'm gauging it by. It looks like it's about center right there. And then what I want to do is go in here and I'm going to pick up just a regular two lane road and I want to have parking. And so I'm not gonna do any of the trees or anything. Um, just because road parking in dense air, urban areas like this is pretty important. And so I don't know if we would want road parking right here, but uh, it could be convenient. And so I'm going to go ahead and leave it. And so we're going to go into train. Actually, I think it's in hub. Yeah. And so we want the multi-platform end station. And again, I want this in the middle. So what is that? Three and three. Yeah, I think that's good right there. And then what I was thinking about doing, because I really don't want to lose this road back here. I was thinking that we could do a little tunnel underneath. I think that would be cool. Um, kind of give it a little aesthetic, but still allow people to travel through this area. And so I think it would be smart to have something like this. And it kind of makes it look cool too, the, having the little tunnels on either side. And then so we need to figure out this whole train track. And I want to give access to both sides. And so we really got to try to figure something out here. And so what is this? Three, four, five, six. So it's kind of an odd number. I'm going to go ahead and start off in the front. And then we will just cut this in. And there we go. It's not perfect, but these aren't going to have trains all coming out of them at once all the time. And so having these close connections should be okay in this setting, but no fingers crossed. We'll see how it looks. And so I just want to make sure that this is kind of swooping a nice, even grade, nothing too steep, but I think for this one, because we're already coming at too high of a angle, we'll end up just crossing over. I think that would be reasonable to assume would happen. And then just make sure that all the connections were made. And I kind of want to make that a little smoother. I'm going to use the new uh, network multi tool. I actually really like this, uh, this tool. I think it's great. I don't know if that's going to be tall enough though. I'll have to see a train come by. I don't think so. That looks a little low. Maybe if we move this one up just a smidge. There you go. Just a couple smidges. I think that's, yeah, you can kind of see the cables. So we got to go up a, at least a little more. I honestly think that might be good right there. And then we'll just smooth out this side too. So right there, right there, right there. And then we'll hit enter. Yeah, there you go. Give it like a nice even grade. It's still kind of a steep drop off at the end, but this is kind of a unique scenario to begin with. I think maybe to fix this, we could probably lift this up a little more. I normally don't like to put my trains with hills. I just, I don't really like it. Um, trains normally have really shallow grades just because a lot of times their tonnage can be 
so much that they just wouldn't be able to make it up a hill like this. But since these are passenger trains, uh, it would be fair to assume that maybe they were built a little differently, and so they probably could make that. And so what I was thinking is um, we could put the tram stations on either side of the um, Metro Hub. And so I actually went out and got some really cool tram stations. And so I just want to remove all this real quick. We're going to have to come back through and have to come back through and redecorate everything. It's okay though. It is good. Look at this lone little bush. He lost all his buddies. And so what I'm thinking, let's go ahead and look at this new tram station. So it's this one right here, tram station, and it is by Polygon. And you can kind of see it has these really cool like sunshades with all the color, like green, blue. And I just thought it would fit in really well here. Um, it does require you to put it next to a road though. I kind of wish I could just snap it onto this, onto this path, but it does want a road. And so we're going to have to try to figure out a nice way for us to squeeze in some roads on either sides of these. And so I think maybe if we, we'll go ahead and delete these, we'll come back through and put in, um, I'll leave those just because we do need the bridges still, but let's see where we can get this guy let's put in the road first so I just want a little one unit road we're not gonna have I mean probably any traffic coming off of this it's just a formality pretty much and so probably right there I want to match it up with this side is that the same now it's one more over yeah there you go and then we'll just go like right there and right there, I think that looks about even. You can kind of tell the metro station's a little, little off on one side. It was because I was trying to match it up with this road, and so it's not going to be perfectly symmetrical, but it's it's okay. It still ends up looking really good, and so space already exists. What oh, is there something there? Oh, it's because the people are there. Okay, and so let's just put this guy in there. And then we'll come over here. Yeah, like right there. Perfect, and so now let's look at these guys. I mean, these, these are really cool. I like the little sunshades, and then I like that they're, they have these little cobblestones. And I think this is going to end up being a really nice area. So we're going to go ahead and delete these just because we really need to put in our tram roads. And this is probably going to be the most difficult part of all this. We need to go through and, and choose which roads we're going to upgrade. And I think that looks pretty good. And so then we're just going to follow it over here as well. And then we're going to do the same over here and over there and so the idea is that we are going to turn these into kind of a tram hub and we want to cover a lot of the same bases as the bus lines and so we're actually going to go in here and look at our bus lines and let's see what we got so we got this white line that goes down this main road and it actually looks like it goes down there by the stadiums and then cuts through our little commercial district next to the posh mall and our parking garage which is really red right there and so we want to make sure to get that one and then we got this orange one over here as well that goes all the way down this road and then i think that's it for this side though it is there i believe there's one more oh this green one so this green one goes down this road and so i think what we're going to do is follow tram roads down these three and we're just going to go in here and delete these three so white green and then i believe yeah the red there gets flashing and so now these people are all upset you're getting rid of our transportation don't worry we are coming through and building more it's just going to take some time and a lot of, a lot of county funds and so i want to make sure that we keep these as main roads and so i ended up found finding a nice eight lane road with two lanes dedicated to the trams and this is the part of the Bad Peanuts collection. It's actually really nice. Um, four stop train exchanges. Two, two, three, six, seven, four, 
road. Okay. And so, yeah, eight lane avenue with trams. Yeah, we're actually going to do the eight lane one. Um, so it's by Delta 5 1. And Bad Peanut actually has these great 64 meter wide roads. And I really wish. I kind of was even toying with the idea of potentially demolishing this main road from this roundabout all the way down and making it into a huge boulevard, but I just didn't, I thought logistically it was going to end up being too much, and, and I think the look that we have right now is really cool. So I think on the next city, we're definitely going to um, plan something along that lines, um, but I think for Zilla Wood, this is pretty good. All right, and so I was actually able to find a really nice road. Um, and I think it is perfect for what we are trying to do. It's uh, a six lane road with bike lanes, tram tracks, and parking spaces, which is really something we didn't have before. And it is by Soldat Tossin, and I found it on the Steam Workshop. And I think it is going to work perfectly for our needs. We ended up spending a lot of time building out those bike lane roads, and so I really. I think, yeah, that actually looks really good. And it looks like the tram tracks are actually on the outside. Still is in a regular lane, which I really preferred the dedicated tram lane. But I think this works really good. And we we save the bike lanes and then we actually get parking spaces, which is, I mean, really, really great. The parking AI mod is definitely a challenge. Um, making sure that everybody has parking is something that is very important. So I think what we're going to do, we're coming down this road and then I think we're going to turn down here and I really want to come down into the river district. I think that's I think that's going to be important. And so we're going to go ahead and do that and then we're just going to find a little like two lane road, three lane, two way road with tram lanes. Yeah, cuz I I really want to get that dedicated tram road when we can just so that the train doesn't have to sit in traffic. I think that's that's good. And so we're gonna have it turn. And it, we do end up losing coming some of this grass um, on the side of the road, but I think it's okay. It's a necessary sacrifice. And like I was saying, I'm super excited to show this to everybody. This is a really great look when it's all done. Okay, and then go back to our big road. Oh, there you go. Perfect. And then, so what were we going to do? So back here, I think following this back would probably be smart. And I think that would be good. And it goes by our, our metro station right there as well. And we'll come up here. And there we go. I think that is great. And then so we also want one coming down this middle lane. And then we are going to need to make this roundabout. So okay, so three lane one way. Tram track with our parking spaces, three lane road, dedicated tram lane. Yeah, we don't really want to lose the three lanes on this. We're already kind of downgrading from the highway, and so I think that would be good. Um, we could also go all the way down there. I think our only issue coming this way, though, would be where would we turn it around? And I don't want to cut into these neighborhoods. Traffic is already starting to become a pretty big problem in the city. And the last thing I want is to have trams just cramming everything with traffic. We could do a little turnaround because um, I think coming down to the stadium district would be important. But I think having the stop down there, they could just walk up here. I think that would actually be good. And then that way they don't even have to really mess with that street. It could just come down from here, down to there, and then call it done. And so we got this road, we got that road, and we got the middle road. And I also want to, since this is kind of a hub, I want to get our little industrial district over here too so that we can try to appeal to some of the workers in the area as well. Um, we wouldn't want to just spend all this money on... 
Yeah, we wouldn't want to just spend all this money on transportation and not think about our actual citizens. It's good to think about tourists, but you also got to think about the people who live in your city. And so we're going to come over here, and I actually got a, a pretty nice little industrial-ish kind of tram road, and I think it looks really good. I think Yeah, it's this one right here. Um, tram road industrial look. Um, for some reason, I couldn't really find it. It's by Klus. Um, so again, you can find it in the Steam Workshop. And I actually really like the look of it. And so what do we need to do? We need to first upgrade. We'll upgrade these roads first. And so I want to come around. And it is still four lanes, so we're not losing a lane. We just, it, it is a little bit smaller. And so I'm going to come down here and then we're going to have to demolish some stuff, which is okay. I'll have it turn around. Um, I could have it go all the way down there, but I really don't want to mess with that main road, especially with all the roundabouts. And so I think this is a good turnaround right here. And then we'll end up putting our tram depot right there. And so let's go ahead and continue upgrading this. We can give access to that road. And I think that's going to be great for our tram network right there. We do need to build out some pedestrian bridges and stuff, um, especially as this becomes more congested. I don't know if we need this line anymore. No, we don't. I'm just going to delete that real quick. And there we go. And then, so let's put in our, <clears throat> let's put in our tram depot. I think I even got a little bit of a special one for that too. I don't know if LRT, so tram depot for the LRT tram network, tram depot. I mean, we could, nah, I'm gonna do one of the regular ones. And well, we know we don't need this anymore. And so let's go right, I think, I mean, comes into an intersection. I think that's smart because then it can actually behave in the way of a normal intersection instead of being a three-way. I think that could be good. And then let's start laying down our lines. So, oh, you know what? We didn't, um, we didn't finish this up. So let's, let's do that real quick. Okay. And so I think that I like how that's already looking. And so what I was thinking is, yeah, I mean, I, so we got our whole network down and then now we just need to put in our lines and then decorate this area, put in some paths. And what I want to do is create a whole like bridge network so that people from the end, the multi-platform end station can realistically make it over to the metro station or the trams without having to kind of navigate all these streets and everything. And because you could imagine this, these are tourists coming in by train. And so they would get off the platform. And the last thing you want to do is have to cross a bunch of streets and you want to just make it as easy as possible for them to get wherever they want to go. And so let's just put down the tram lines first. And then we'll start playing around with it. Okay, and so we will make this one our little loop. And so we'll stop right there and then we'll do one over here and then do one right there. We'll do one right there. One right there. And then I want to make the stops kind of frequent down here. As this would be the main tourism hub. And then, so we got that one right there. And so I think we'll just do one in front of the metro station right there. I think that would be good. And then we'll come down and before we turn, we'll do one. And then we'll have one right there. And then it just comes back. I don't want it to use that road though. So maybe we'll, I wish it just wouldn't. I don't want it to turn in there. Maybe we'll, I think I'm going to complete it, but then just move this one down there. There you go. Cause I really, that's going to be our other station. I don't want trains going through it just to turn around. I think that would uh, not be ideal. And so there you go. We got our first line. 
And so we're just going to mimic that, go in the opposite direction. Um, if somebody doesn't want to maybe wait to go all the way around or they're going to a specific location, I think it would be fair to assume having one going the opposite direction would be perfect. And so we are going to do that. Bam. 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 And there we go. Zippity doo da. Perfect. And if we need to come back through and maybe add in some more stops, we might. I'm not going real crazy with the stops right now. I want to see how it's going to behave. I, I think I have a stop down here. I can't really tell. Didn't we put one down here? Oh, yeah, right there. I guess that wasn't as far as I was thinking. I was thinking it was underneath those bridges, but I guess not. Okay, and so we are around here. Let's do that. And then this one can actually just turn in. That's perfect. And so then on this side, we're going to have one that comes down and we'll probably put our first one right there and then we'll do one right there. And then I don't really want, maybe we'll move that one. Yeah, well, actually that's probably good. And so we'll do one right there and we'll come back. This isn't a complicated line. And so again, we're going to have to do that and then have it loop around. And then this one is going to be our industrial line and there we go so we have a line going this way all the way down to our our riverfront district and going around and then we have uh, the same line just going the opposite direction and then we have this short little line kind of going down the middle i really kind of wish we could get it to come all the way down here i'm thinking maybe if we did like a loop i think we could probably let's see if we can get a little loop in here I was able to kind of finagle a little bit of a, a roundabout in here. Um, I did have to delete some parking though. And so let's see if we can put in just a couple small guys in here since using the parking AI mod is, makes it super important to have accessible parking. And I think that looks pretty good. It's a little on the side out there. I think if we just... Shift this back a smidge. Yeah, I mean, that's it looks good. It's a little on the, the sidewalk there. So maybe if we just move it forward a smidge. Yeah, I mean, is it perfect? No, but I think it looks okay for our purposes. And you do see fences like that sometimes. Um, but the main goal was putting in this roundabout, and I did have to kind of move around this little bridge a bit. And so now we have access all the way down to our stadium district and opera house from the transit hub, which is really what, what I was trying to do here. Um, there was kind of, kind of some weird connections here in this roundabout. So it'll be interesting to see if these connect. I didn't move them around. I messed with no controller. I switched out the roads. And for some reason, it just doesn't want to show them connecting, though in the roots option, it shows that it is connected. And so we'll just have to see if that works works out how it's supposed to. And so one of the things I wanted to do before we unpause anything is finish this area. And so we just have these two kind of bone-legged paths right here. And so I want to continue using those, but create kind of like an elegant an elegant look with this. I think we, we have a real opportunity to make a nice area with these paths. And so I want to come down here. And one of the cool things about this is because this is so close to these, it actually does allow access onto both the metro and the tram station. And so I think that's really important. And so we're going to come up one, two, three. And for some reason that clicked. I want to take that back. And I'm going to turn on guidelines just because I want to continue going straight. I think nine's good. Yeah, there you go. And so I want to do the same thing on this side. Obviously, it's a little bit wider, and so we will see if it ends up coming out the same. We might just have to kind of make our own connections here. Yeah, I think we're going to have to. One, two, three. So nine again. Turn back on road guidelines so we can 
get that nice and straight. And I think that looks good. We definitely didn't get the same kind of vibe on this one. I think I'm actually going to try to push this back just a little bit. Hopefully that didn't mess up too much. I mean, it looks, it definitely looks a little better there. And so I think because I think if we get these right there, then it will make it so that they can come in and out of both of these at the same time. And I think that that's really important. I do have the segment controller, I believe. I don't know if I do. I don't. I, no, not at the moment. Okay, and so we want to provide access over here. And so I think what we're going to do is continue on straight. And then kind of cut across. And I want to go in the middle. That way we can do... There you go. I think that looks pretty good. It's clean. We just want to provide access. We want people to take these paths. And so I think that is going to provide just enough access to where people might take it. And so, especially from the, the bus station right there, that's really the key area. I really wish um, that there were stairs in this game. It, it really bothers me because like these huge ramps and especially when you see walkways like this, they're not, they're not ramps, they're stairs and you would have elevators and ADA access and it would be this whole spiel. And yeah, in this game, there is no, uh, there's no stairs. Which I guess, like I get it when you're designing a game, it's just easier to not put in stuff like that. But would have been a nice feature. I think I went a little wider on that side. I did. And there we go. I'm going to try to clean this one up just a smidge, just so I can get that same kind of look. And there we go. I think that looks pretty good. And so we've got this little bridgeway. They have access to the metro. They have access to this area. And so I just want to do a little bit of detailing. And I think in these areas, I'm going to try to do like some bigger rocks. I think that would be really cool. Yeah, like that looks awesome. I'll do the same thing over here. There we go. And then let's just put in some smaller rocks in between here. And then some foliage. And we'll put in some bushes. No, I totally messed up. I think I'm going to put in some paths right here. Yeah, because we want to have that access. I think that would be really good for them to just kind of be able to cut across. And they got some crosswalks right there. Let's see if we can get just one crosswalk here in the middle. Yeah, there you go. So if they did want to just cut this way, they could. I would prefer them to take the 
other paths, but say they're, you know, coming down to the bus station. We're not going to do any bus lines at this moment, but as the city expands, I think we're going to end up doing the horizontal streets with bus lines. And so I think this would work really well. Okay, and so I just want to put in a little bit of landscaping on these sides. I think we're going to do some... Because we do have taxis in the city already, I think we're going to utilize this little area in here. Yeah, there you go. So now they have taxi access, and then let's come in here. And I want to put in one of these guys. Okay, and so I think I think that's really good. Um, if you've made it this far, don't forget, if you like my content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And please, please, please go ahead and leave any comments. If you guys got any suggestions, names, I'm really going to be building this, this city out to be kind of like Zilla Wood. I wanted to try to find something cheesy and funny and, and something that went along with my channel name. And so I thought it would be cool. Uh, let me know what you guys think and we are going to go ahead and hit the play button and let's see how this works see if anything breaks i think i mean already this looks so good and it looks like we're missing some sort of line up oh, no it's going and so let's see if we get a huge line of what did i it's funny in between episodes i had built this but it looks as though i had uh, built it backwards and so people couldn't even use it it's pretty terrible yeah we were getting um too much traffic just coming off this one side and so i was like man it'd be really good especially with this whole transportation hub if we did another exit back here and so i kind of snaked it in and then had it terminate over here i'm gonna clean up that line just a little bit i think because it was facing the other direction for some reason it uh it didn't do it that well Oh, there you go. I mean, it's a little better. But look at all of our beautiful trams. Let's come in here and kind of change up the colors. And So we got green, purple. We'll do light blue. And we'll do yellow. And we will do like a reddish orange. I think that's great. And so let's see, um, first off, if we have any issues. I don't know why they're stopping here. There's like no traffic. And yet they are just... We definitely, I don't know if it'll be the next episode or not, but we need to do a traffic episode. It is starting to pile up in certain areas. Um, it's actually good right now, but it can become an issue pretty quickly. And so we shall see. Um, so we got some trams coming down. There's our blue line. I really like how the, this looks. I think this just looks so great. Having the little lines in the middle. I want to start playing around with the intersection marking tool. I haven't really put a whole lot of time into it, and that's why I don't. I haven't really messed around with it a lot in my episodes. Um, but I think it is a really fun tool to have, and so maybe we'll start messing around with it. I don't know what he's stopping for. What was there? I think he was like stuck or something. 
So let's see if people are waiting. Oh yeah, we got some people right there. And look, at, we're definitely getting some action going on in here. Oh man, look at this. Look at all these people. What the... We literally just opened this. I mean, man, there's so many people coming in. Oh yeah, and look, they can jump in between. So perfect. That's what I was trying to go for was that whole uh, crowd. And look, people are using our bridges. This is really cool. I like how we did the rocks. And so all these people are just now coming down here. And then let's look at our train station. This should start bringing in those inner city trains here soon. It looks like, yeah, there's already some right here. The good part about having the multi-platform end station like this is you can really take in a higher volume of the inner city trains um, because they can utilize the multiple platforms. And so I think it's really good. We'll definitely have to see. I think it takes a little bit for that to start running. Man, I can't even believe this. This is crazy. Which line is this? So that's just so many people. Is that our, That's our yellow one. Where did our... I feel like we messed up somewhere. No, we did. Okay, so which one did we want? So the blue line should be... So it looks like the purple line is what we messed up on. I don't know why that happened. It's really weird. Looks like it's just on the wrong side. I, I'm going to be able to just switch it over to... The, yeah, there you go. It's, where, it's going the opposite direction, and so... That's why I'd even put this over here so that it came in from the right, and so it should just fix it right now. So I just don't want everybody queuing up on the same one. I want them queuing up on the other side. But I just can't believe how many people are here. Let's go back to... So is the yellow line. And so let's see how many people we got. So it's got eight trams. I think this, that's the one that goes right down the middle, right? Yeah, that's, so that's right down to our stadium district. And so already that's just a super popular line. Luckily, though, it's shorter. And so I don't think we really need a ton of cars. I think eight is probably going to be good. Um, trams do still affect traffic. And so... We don't want to just cram in a bunch of lines in there. Um, I love how we got this parking in there, though, and we kept the the bike lanes. I think that looks so good. I just I think that is great. And so, and there's so many people using this. This is just fantastic. And our little, new little train hunt station. We haven't had anybody any come in yet. So I wonder if it just takes a couple seconds, or let's let's just wait and see if we get. Oh, it looks like there was one right there. So I want to make sure that these connections are good. They, I mean, they look good, and so it shouldn't be an issue. I'm kind of a little worried about this section because it could end up causing some jams where the trains end up backing up. But yeah, I think for right now, I mean, this is. I really like these train stations too, and we did the the tram stations. We did the tram roads with the little fences, and so this is really cool. And they're uh, they're sitting in the middle where they're supposed to be, and so I. Man, I think this came out really well. There's just what I'm so what I'm hoping for is that there's just going to be so many people coming over here that this is going to become a major hub. And I already think that this this looks so great. So yellow line, yeah. There's just so many people, but it's being well utilized. Like these are only got 20 people, 54. So, I mean, we could probably even drop that down to make it a little faster, but we'll keep it at that right now just because it's still growing. And so let's look at our other line, what it was, the purple and the blue. This was really the big one. This was the one where we wanted to see if people were going to be, if we needed to add in more lines or if that was going to be enough people. And so it should be good. I mean, it's looking pretty good right now. What's our traffic at? So traffic's at 73. Oh, man, I mean, you can see this area is just such a problem. And so maybe we'll fix this real quick. Because so I did have an idea in here that I think would end up making this area a little better. I think what we'll do is go directly into... 
this guy right there. I think that's perfect. We'll just move this over a smidge. Yeah, there you go. It's a little wonky, but as long as it's tall enough, and I think it is, maybe we'll go just up this guy's smidge. It's kind of weird. I think it's floating now. Yeah, maybe we won't do that. Ah, you know what? It's big enough anyways. It is. It would be stairs, and so we'll just assume that that's stairs. Um, and then we'll go ahead and delete that. And so th this area we've been having some serious issues with for a while. We definitely, definitely, definitely need to do a traffic episode. And this is, I mean, pretty common for these stadium areas. It's funny, though, the the foot, the basketball stadium just doesn't have these this many issues. And I think it's just because it's a lower volume area. It's got the two connections. And then this road is a little bit longer. And then it has a ton of parking. We definitely designed this one much better because the aquatic center it doesn't have immediate parking it's kind of crammed in here that hopefully made it a little bit bigger but you can see i mean these people are backing up and then we ended up doing the the leisure area directly around it rather than just kind of in front of it and so i i think that that is probably why but you can already see it's kind of moving around already and so i think that's good and so let's go back over here and let's check out our new area. Let's see if we've got those trains coming in yet. Oh, look. Look at all these people. Using public transport, going too large. Oh, looks like we got some sort of uh, stuck sims because it looks like they're waiting for something. Maybe, you know, it's cars, maybe. Some pocket cars or something. I'm not sure, but. Um, I don't know if it is because of the parking AI, but ever since I started using the parking AI, I started getting a lot more stuck sims, and so I'm going to try to play around with my mods and see what that problem is, man. I just, there's so many people using these lines. This is crazy. Look at that. What are, are these people waiting there instead of at the train station? <laughs> The uh, no, the red line. So yeah, they're waiting way over here instead of. That's hilarious. Really surprised though. This I felt like the blue and purple line were gonna be the the busier ones. Maybe it's because they have more um more trains. It's just not backing up the same. Because it looks like this red line is definitely. Oh my god. What is this? Where did all these people? Oh my god. Look at this. This is fantastic. Look at all those people. This is crazy. Look at, oh man, it's just, there's, we got to, they're just queuing up. Everybody's so excited. They're visiting Zilla Wood. They've been told about this city. There's this new transit hub and they're going to ride the trams and the kids are all pumped up. Like, I want to ride the tram and, or the metro. I mean, this would be, this would definitely be something that I would want to see. If I came to a city and I knew that they had, like this large kind of outdoor, indoor, underground metro hub. I think that would be really cool. And I've seen a few um, really big metro hubs in my time. And so uh, it's definitely something to see. But man, I just can't even believe how many people. This is so crazy.